Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Smitty, coming at you this afternoon from the studio here in Wall Street. And how about those Mets? Mr. Met, how about those Mets? Amazing, right? Last night, down 7-1, and in under two innings, my boys are up 8-7 and take the win in D.C. and go six up on the Nationals. So... That means I'm in a good mood. Let's get it started. It's almost 4 o'clock. The market's there about to close. It's time to unwind with a drink. That's right. It's time for a special Orange or Blue Happy Hour here in New York City. U.S. stocks, they're trading lower Wednesday afternoon, failing to extend the rally and giving up early gains. But first, let's talk about Apple, which briefly traded more than 1% lower after initially spiking more than 1.5%. The stock fluctuating around the flat line ahead of its afternoon conference, at which the company unveiled a series of new products too many to talk about right now. Meanwhile, traders also eyeing the jobs, openings, and labor turnover survey, that's the jolts, which showed the number of job openings was at a record 5.8 million. Earlier stocks opening sharply higher, following strong gains in markets overseas, the Nikkei in Japan jumping 7.7%, its biggest one-day gain since 2008, and China's Shanghai Composite closing up 2.3%. Team that with U.S. crude oil futures settling down $1.79, about 3.9% at $44.15 a barrel. Gold futures down $19 an ounce. And the U.S. dollar holding higher against its counterparts. Then you have yourself a session right now where decliners are indeed ahead of advancers. Let's take a look to see how the markets have shaped up to close out this, the halfway trading point of the trading week. And on the corporate front, Krispy Kreme and Quicksilver expected to report their earnings right after the close, which is right about now. And if you want more corporate news, check out the earlier ModernWallStreet.com Market Movers Report with our very own Lelda Smeets. And with that, we end as always on a sports note. The New York Mets going for the sweep tonight against the Washington Nationals. Can we go 7-up? What do you think, Mr. Met? He agrees. Sweep the Grom on the mound. And until tomorrow morning when I could say that the Mets are indeed seven games ahead in the NL East, I'll see you until then. From ModernWallStreet.com, I'm James Sweeney. And on the corporate front, both Krispy Kreme and Twitter.